My first secret mathematician that I'm going to take is going to come from the world of music, which I think is the, the art that is most associated with mathematics. And I've chosen a composer, one of my favourite composers. Um, it's a French composer called Olivier Messiaen, who was very um, excited by mathematical ideas and very often uh, thread them through his music uh, in a conscious way, but sometimes also in an unconscious way. Um, and there's one particular piece uh, which I really love. It was um, a piece that he wrote whilst he was in the, a prisoner of war camp during the Second World War. Um, it was called the Quartet for the End of Time. Um, in the prisoner of war camp, there was a rickety upright piano. Um, he played piano and he found uh, three other prisoners, one a clarinetist, a violinist and a cellist. And he decided to write this piece of music which somehow captured the, the desperate time um, uh, in the middle of the 20th century. And the first movement um, is called the Liturgy de Cristal. And what he wanted to do was to create a kind of sense of never-ending time, a sense of unease. Um, and what's interesting, he used a piece of mathematics in order to be able to do this. So the piece starts, actually, with the violin and the clarinet exchanging bird themes. He was very obsessed by bird themes, trying to notate them. But it was in the piano part where you find an incredible structure beginning to emerge. Um, so this is the score um, for the piano part. And the, the rhythm sequence is a 17-note rhythm sequence which just repeats itself over and over again throughout this first movement. So if you start, see it starts crotchet, 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 then goes into a nice syncopated rhythm until you have 17 chords, and then the same rhythm repeats itself again. And this rhythm just repeats itself, 17-note rhythm sequence again and again throughout the whole piece. But the harmonic sequence is doing something very different. The harmonic sequence is a sequence of 29 chords, which again are just repeated over and over again. So if you see, it starts with these chords and ends 29 chords here, and then you see the same um, harmonic sequence starting all over again. But Messiaen has done something very clever here. What he's done is to use some mathematics, which is actually something that I spend a lot of time researching, namely the mathematics of prime numbers, because 17 and 29 are both indivisible numbers, and it's this choice of numbers which creates a rather strange effect. Because, of course, after the 17-note uh, uh, rhythm sequence has finished, the harmonic sequence is still working its way through its 29 chords. Um, so when the 29 chords are finished, the, the rhythm sequence is in a, a completely different place again. So what happens is the choice of 17 and 29 keep the harmony and the rhythm out of sync so that you don't hear the same thing until it repeats itself 17 times 29 chords, which I think by then the piece is actually finished. Um, um, but uh, it's, what is interesting is that you can't necessarily hear these primes at work, but you do get a sense of structure, yet unease. So let's hear the um, primes 17 and 29 being put to use um, to create this sense of unease in the quartet for the end of time. sequence starts again, but the harmonic sequence is still working its way through its 29 chords. And now the 29 chords have finished, start again, but the harmonic sequence, the rhythm sequence uh, are in completely different places. <laughs> <laughs> 